You need cash in the bank, cause the houses round here are all flashy and swank. And the front bit is what's called a facade. If you live around here, you need lots of panache. If you live in town here, then you must cut a dash. It's too hard, dear, to create a facade. Here tonight it's festive, but the guests are getting rested. Cause the guest of honor's causing a dilemma. Dr. Jekyll's party for his own engagement party is betrothed to Sir Danvers' daughter. does this Jekyll fella think he is? Impertinence like that in the army would have earned him a good flogging. The perfect way to stamp on any nasty signs of progress. A eh, general? Absolutely. He's tinkering with a man's soul. And I don't like it. He's lucky we're living in modern times. Today's penalties for heresy are not what they should be. Then we should thank the good Lord that we have you to represent modern times, Your Grace. If Jekyll's as clever as you say he is, what's he doing trying to save paupers and mad? What exactly. possible use is that? I have lived in St. James for 60 years, and I've never even seen a pauper, let alone a madman. I think he's mad, if you must know. Danvers, we're talking about your future son-in-law, and I think you're mad to let him marry your daughter. That's not Father's decision, Lady Beaconsfield, it's mine. Don't worry, Bessie. I have your opinion of him as a scientist may be. Emma assures me Henry Jekyll is impeccable husband material. Well, for a start, it is less than impeccable to be late for one's own engagement party. Shows a remarkable lack of style. Yes. <coughs> Bessie. Comments uh, on style should never be made by those who have none. <laughs> Miss Green. Oh, Mr. Utterson, thank you so much for being here. You are a bracing breath of fresh air. Emma Carew, can this be you? What kind of man is this you've taken? Can you not see the kind of life that this would be? You are mistaken. Time to awaken before it's too late. Before you forever determine your fate. But Simon, you knew I had to be free. What I choose to do is decided by me. From the day my mother died, my father, full of good intentions, treated me as though I were a young child. Maybe his idea was just to wait until I grew up and then look at me and hope that I'd be her. It's easy to accept that from a father. He'd rather things remain the way they were. But when it comes to marriage, I must be whom I prefer. I am not the weak young thing you're seeking, Simon. Someone 17, obedient and sweet. I am not the protege to waste your time on. I'm complete. In Henry's eyes, I see what I am meant to be. Henry Jekyll, you're a devil. You have robbed us of a London's most lovely girl. I could turn to drink when I stopped to think what? Emma's marrying a doctor instead of an earl. Poor girl. <laughs> ah, the late Dr. Jekyll. My apologies, Sir Dan. Nothing to forgive, dear boy. Like Emma, I'm learning to anticipate you. We thought we might invite your wedding guests for the day after the ceremony, just to make sure the groom is in attendance. Never fear, sir. I'll be there. The six weeks till the wedding will be the longest of my life. Well, your half hour this afternoon with the governors of St. Jude's was certainly the longest of my life. I have to take every opportunity I am given, sir, to state my beliefs. Even though you antagonize the established authority in the process? But your friends are not the established authority, merely the established Henry. prejudice. Your friend... My friend, Dr. Jekyll, is a man of honor, Sir Danvers. But not of diplomacy. Ah. I was not aware the two were incompatible. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the fireworks. Fireworks, ladies and gentlemen, do come along. Mr. Utterson, do you enjoy fireworks? If they're unavoidable. Yes, they are. Uh, Bishop, come along and have a glass of port. Yes. Mr. 
Miss Carew. Dr. Jekyll. Are you angry with me? No. You should. I'm just happy you're here. Well, I try never to miss any social occasion attended by Lady Beaconsfield. Tell me, is there a Lord Beaconsfield? He died 30 years ago. Sensible fellow. <laughs> Dearest Emma, you realize you're setting yourself up for a lifetime of these aggravations. Yes, I realize that. I cannot live by the same old clock other people do. I realize that, too. And in all good conscience, I must advise you, I love you far too much to have you suffer the sort of life I have to offer. I must go on with the work I'm committed to. How can I not when my theories are true? And I will prove if I'm ever permitted to. Things are not wrong just because they are new. Baby, I adore you, always have done, always will do. And your dreams are mine. I will always understand, however hard the path is planned. Our lives will intertwine. Who knows where my work will lead me? Nowhere where you will not need me. Emma, please, I beg you, heed me. Just don't leave me on my own. The only thing I fear is the unknown. When this all began, you gave me a price to To the no to turn away, we have come to fall. I know you'll find a Sometimes I see past the horizon, sure of my way, where I am going. But where's the prize I have my eyes on? Where there is just no knowing, and when despair tears me in. Can I turn to but you? You know who I am. Take me as I am. Look in my eyes. Who do you see there? Someone you know, or just a stranger?